Here we see actually what happens to this patch antenna at three frequencies, uh, at um, three gigahertz, six and nine gigahertz. What at those three frequencies you obtain actually different type of modes that propagate, in, that uh, exist in the resonant uh, cavity of the patch, such that for the lowest uh, frequency, three gigahertz, you obtain uh, those two, we can identify actually those two radiating slots uh, that uh, I mentioned before on the uh, edges of the patch. Now as we go higher in frequency, we obtain in addition to those two radiating slots, additional radiation from the other edges of the patch. And if we go to the highest frequency, 9 GHz, we obtain even a finer a, a finer distribution of the a, a electric field on the edges and all that contributes to the a, radiation pattern. This is actually can be uh, actually uh, represented or uh, translated, this is actually translated to the radiation pattern of each of those modes such that for the dominant mode we obtain this radiation pattern which we have seen before, while for this um, uh, mode we obtain uh, some sort of uh, a null in the, uh, in the direction or on the axis normal to the patch. And this is uh, due to the fact that the radiating, those two radiating slots are not anymore combined, don't combine in phase, but are reversed in phase and therefore we obtain a null uh, on this normal and normal to the phase of the microstrip. And for uh, the higher frequency, this is the equivalent uh, radiation pattern which, can, uh, uh, which is obtained. Uh, so we, what we can see here actually, that if we excite the patch in different type of modes, we can obtain from the microstrip antenna different type of radiation pattern. So in some application, this is very important.